know. I'm so excited. I love seafood and I cannot wait for you guys to see how I make it. So stay tuned. First thing you're going to do is set your oven to 350 degrees before you start. First, place your choice of seafood into a hot skillet with two tablespoons of oil. I use a seafood mix that were already cooked containing calamari rings, mussels, imitation crabs, and shrimp. I then season with one tablespoon of seasoned salt. Then 1.5 teaspoon of chili powder depending on how spicy you like your food. Chili powder is not really spicy so that's why I use it to cook. And then add parsley. There's no desired amount just depending on how much parsley you want. Mix each seasoning as you go and let it fry for about one minute. Add one and a half cup of mixed vegetables and stir it for 30 seconds. Close the lid and let it cook for one to two minutes. Add 305 grams, which is equivalent to one can of cream of mushroom and mix it very well. And then add half of a 305 gram can of cream of chicken and mix it very well also. Add half a cup of tomato sauce and stir it very well and then place the lid on your skillet and let it sit for one minute. Add half of an onion, stir for about two minutes, then add one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Let everything cook for another minute and then add one cup of boiled white rice. I added a little bit more rice because I want a lot of rice on my casserole, but it's up to you. Mix everything very well and let everything cook for a minute. For this step, you will need mozzarella cheese, mayonnaise, and a casserole bowl, or any bowl that is oven safe that you have. Place your casserole into the bowl and add cheese on two layers in the middle which I forgot to show and I apologize. Add a layer of mayonnaise at the top. Make sure that it's nice and even. Sprinkle mozzarella cheese on top and then add breadcrumbs on top of your cheese. Place your dish into your oven for 15 to 20 minutes or until the top is nice and brown. Oh my gosh, this is so good. It smells so good. Look at it. Yes, yes, for the casserole. Yes, I'm about to eat this up. Yes. Now make sure you're not like me and behave like a hungry hippo and let your casserole cool down before you eat it because it's extremely hot. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on my next video. Don't forget to thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe. God bless.